What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Slime Rancheros. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And actually, we're trying to complete a quest right now. I'm trying to get some stuff together so that Munchy Miles will give us, I don't know, a bunch of chickens that I can then feed to the King Chicken Slime. And then things will be good for us. Apparently, our life will change for the better. I can't verify that just yet, but that's what it says on the tin. And so I'm trying to get down with it. I'm trying to be a team player right now. But the universe is not letting me. It is being just a giant tease and a giant block. Ah, well. Continuing on a long trend of what is my life. Welcome on back to the series. In today's episode, we're more than likely going to try and brime ourselves a giant cat. And we'll probably go to the jungle. We'll probably try and mess around with the phosphor slime. I think we're getting pretty close to the point where we were in our previous playthrough. Aside from all the upgrades and whatnot. We had everything like pimped out to hell and back the last time we played the game. This time around, things are in play, but we could do better. We could do better. We've got nine of those left over there. Our plort collector is, of course, not picking up plorts anymore, which is not entirely unexpected. We need two tabby plorts. We needed one rock plort. We needed a couple of pink plorts. All right, so that should be good to go in just a minute. I'm going to sprint over to here. Wow, that market is really, really low. That is a nasty market. Trying to stay away from it right now, like I just don't even want to play with it. I'm just like, nope, not me, not today, not like this. Do it switch mode. There we go. All right. And I needed one more tabby plort, so we're gonna throw this in here with our especially grumpy kitties. They're gonna eat that, and we'll poop out a plort. And so there it is. The plort hath been pooped. Where did the plort go? Ah, there it is. I was standing in the plort. See, it just goes to show. If you smell something and can't find out what it is, maybe look underneath your shoe. Oh, God. So there was a goal here. I... Good God. There's so many of them. There's chickens everywhere. Chickens, chickens everywhere, and not a single one of them is fried. God damn it. Everybody loves fried chicken. It's one of the most delicious things to ever exist in the history of mankind. I'm partial to Popeyes. Some people are partial to KFC. It really, it goes back and forth. Come here, chickens. I have need of you. I require that you be with me for this next part of my journey, which I can virtually assure you is not going to be pleasant at all from your perspective. This part of your journey is going to suck, chicken. All right, so let's run this back over here. I'm gonna make use of those Q berries in just a minute. We're gonna actually replant one of our heartbeat fields with that, but what we need to do now is we're going to be on a chicken hunt alert watch search mode. And if we can find ourselves some more chickens, we can then give them to the tabby slime, which will then give us a key, and we can start moving in alternate directions with this playthrough and have access to a few more zones so that we can pick and choose what we want to work on at any given time. I do think it would be smart to get boom slimes up and running. Puddle slimes probably need to be up and running as well so that we could earn ourselves a little bit more cash. But as of right now, we're sitting on a decent amount of money. We got about 1500 bucks in the bank, which, as I understand it, is doing better than most people nowadays. So, 1500 in the bank. I got money in the bank. Damn you, T-Pain, and your beautiful robot voice that is not yours. I don't think there's many chickens left over here. I just wanted to take these chickens. That was actually the main reason why I did the quest for Munchie Miles is so that I could turn in a bunch of chickens to the chicken god over here, or the cat god, or whatever the hell, so that we could earn ourselves at least a little bit. There we go. So we got one right there. Basically, we're starting the quest right now while we've got a surplus rather than trying to scrounge for it later while I'm trying to put things together. So there's our hens, there's our roostros, and there's our stonies, which he especially likes. She, it, whatever. I never realized that that was a cuberry bush. I always thought that that was a... Oh, there's another one over here. And another one. All right, DJ Khaled, go back where you came from. It's done. It's over. It's weird how DJ is. Like, it must be terrifying to be like a DJ. Like somebody who just makes beats for rappers and whatnot. Because you know you're going to be out of style. And like, here's what's going to happen. You're going to be like DJ Mustard. And you're going to follow the process just like DJ Khaled did. You're going to be like on every hit single for like five years straight. And then all of a sudden, nobody's going to like you anymore. And it's just going to be over. And that's it. And you're not going to make beats anymore. And it's just finished. 
Done. No more fun for you. We've got... It's just got to be worrying to be in that position where your job security is... I mean, on the plus side, you make a shit ton of money before it's all over. So you can just, like, cash out and live on a cruise ship for the rest of your life. Which is totally what I would do. But I have, like, this weird stirring need for, like, relevancy deep down in my stomach. I think I, that might be one of the spurring reasons why I'm a bad human being. Is just because, like, that class clown effect. I don't know what it is. But, like, if I can't be noticed, I'm just like, nope. I'm going to throw myself off a cliff. Hmm. It's been there since I was like 15 years old. I don't know. It has never stopped from the beginning to the end. It has been an underpinning thing in my life. Let's sprint off this way. Forgot we can get around quicker. Like I've been walking around normally this entire playthrough. When I don't even have to. I don't even have to. Range exchange is offline. So I'm assuming we've probably got ourselves a little bit of a cooldown before we can use that most of the time. Let's try this again. If, what if I remove my craps? There we go. My craps have been removed. My question is, do my upgrades stay, though? So now we've got our Qberry tree. Oh, they do. So that's a plus. Let's put in a sprinkler, although I would think with trees, you wouldn't want to sprinklicate them too frequently. There we go. A little bit more of that good shit up in here. And now that our feeding hopper is completely and totally empty, I've never seen it hop, but they tell me it do, so you know what? Keep your eye on it. If you see that thing hop, you let me know. You send me an email right away. Just make sure it's notarized, though. I need it notarized and in triplicate, as they say in the world of Italia. I'm not gonna lie, they seem pretty happy right now. I've got some plorts to get rid of. I'm going to briefly step into the cage because I don't trust them. And I know they're up to something. Let's feed them a couple of Q berries. And see if we can't earn ourselves some double harvests here. And there it is. A little bit more money for the cash thrown. I'll probably buy some personal upgrades on this one. Just to move us along. Man, that market has got to stabilize at some point, but... Shit, it's so, it shows no sign of going back up right now. It's bad. And it's like, I can't just like stop making progress. Like, I could hold on to all this stuff and I could spend a bunch of money on silos and shit like that, but I feel like I probably shouldn't stop my personal progress. I'm gonna go with the jetpack because it's useful. And that works just like that. It allows me to fly. Which is pretty rad, because among the things that I always dreamed that I might be able to do one day, flight was pretty high up on the list. Like, if I could choose a superpower, I would probably pass up all the more pragmatic stuff. Like, Wolverine powers would be pretty legit, too, where you just, like, endlessly regenerate. But then again, you live forever, and you gotta watch everybody you know die, like, over and over and over again, without you ever being given the grace of death. You know what I mean? Maybe not. I'm gonna play catch with myself here. Things are very floaty on this planet. I can't help but feel like the gravity must be quite a bit lower. Got 500 bucks left. How long till that harvest? That harvest is going to take a little bit. But these are fully upgraded, so these should be able to do their thing no problem for the foreseeable future. Uh, what's going on with our house? We got mail. Munchy Miles. Well, well, it seems like another wannabe rancher has signed up for a lonely existence on this faraway space rock. Congrats, Beatrix. I'm Mochi Miles. That's Miles as in Tatsuya Miles, the billionaire. I'm here to do important business for my dad, but that doesn't mean I won't make all the rest of these backwater types out here look bad in the process. No one conquers the plurt market like I do, day in, day out. My dad gives me the inside track, so look forward to my requesting plorts that I know will make me huge profits later on. So I wish you the best of luck, Beatrix. Maybe you'll even reach second place. At the very least, you could tell your friends that you helped out the great Mochi Miles in her quest, or the conquest of the far, far range. Later, Tater. Oh, I can tell I hate you already. Later tater. Uh, it wasn't the it wasn't the braggardly nature. It was the later tater. That's what did it. So I guess we can reasonably assume that rock plorts, tabby plorts, and pink plorts are gonna go back up because that's what she just said in her oh shit. Oh, you come back over here and you will be punished by being thrown into the ocean. Blop. 
Sorry about that, hen hens. My bad. I didn't realize that douchebag was running around trying to murder all of you. Oh shit. I hit it over the wall too far. Too complicated and too difficult. I can't do it anymore. Alright, so let's make our way over to an alternate location and see what we can accomplish, shall we? I feel like it might be wise to just have a look around one of the side zones and see if that'll make our lives easier. I'm gonna murder a whole bunch of pink slimes right now to start out the day, though, because nothing puts me in a good mood like murdering slimes. Pogo fruits. Bounce, pogo, 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 jump, pogo, pogo. I like the way that that looks on my sound wave thingy. Pogo, 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 pogo. Meh. Awesome. See, you guys don't get the, the magical majesty that is sound engineering. You don't get to, like, sit over here with audacity, if you can even call that sound engineering. And watch it explode on the scene. Ya feel? Ya heard? Hmm. Apparently it's munchy fest out here. Alright then. Well, let's go this way. I'm going to fly over the tops of you. Because I am the superior being. Who keeps these torches lit? Shit. Alright, so let's have a look around. And see if we can get ourselves any better critters out here. Pink Plort's probably not going to need you right now. Probably not going to need you. Oh, we've got Tar. So let's get rid of them. I want the boom slimes. That's a boom largo though. I don't want a boom largo. I just want the normal boom slimes. Shit, they all turn into boom largos. I hate largos. They're the worst. They're like discount just like washed ver. I, I just don't like them. I don't like them. Largos piss me off. Oh, there's a rock lord in here. That's pretty cool. Can't get the green mushrooms yet. I don't know if this area's in development or if it's just always empty like this. There's one. Come here, buddy. I need you. Boom slimes now. I need you. Alright, so oh, there's some boom slimes down here. Ow. Ow. Worth it, though. Definitely worth it. Alright, so let's go around. How do I get up there? Please don't eat that pink plort. See, the problem with pink slimes is they're everywhere, and they just convert everything else into pink slimes, which is a major frustration to me. I don't want any more pink slimes. I want the pink slimes to go quietly into that great night while they leave all the other slimes alone and unconverted to their species. It looks like this is a chicken harvesting area up here. A little bit of cash to be had on one side. Get you. Oh, yeah, the boom slimes are carnivorous, aren't they? Hmm. I may not be able to support that on the level that I would like. And it's totally possible in this game to get up on, like, the edges of the walls and whatnot and go wherever you want to go. <gasps> what is that? Is that a poodle slime? Oh, it's a poodle slime. Hello, little poodle slime. Alvita in. Guten Tag. I went on a Disneyland ride. I think I probably told this story already. But there's the Matterhorn at Disneyland. And for whatever reason, the guy that tells you about the ride is like, Auf Wiedersehen. Guten Tag. And like every four words, and it just makes me happy. What are those? Apparently, they irradiate me. And I'm getting my ass whooped over here. A rad slime. Its radiance is so lovely that it makes you sick. Okay, well, there's another one over here. I mean, why not? Might as well. And they're a lovely hue of green, which I'm particularly fond of. What do they eat? Take a look in a second when we're not, like, in a death trap of a zone. 
But yeah, we are slightly irradiated, so... Fingers crossed, if I get lucky and get super awesome slime mutant powers, that'll be pretty swell. That'll make my life better. Sure, that can't backfire at all. I totally won't become like Clayface or anything. What the shit? Apparently they have converted over. I wonder if you can get to the ruins or something at this point. Before you couldn't quite get there. What's this? It says that death awaits me. Death awaits me on this side. Well, that's okay. I don't care about you, death. You don't terrify me. You're already a certainty. Therefore, I don't know. I, I treat you as a thing that exists, but really just doesn't bother me. Sounds like a decent compromise. So we got some grass or something growing over here. What are these? Some kind of new perdurters. Yeah, they look like some kind of potato or something. Maybe that's what the rad slimes eat. Mm. They're like a stack of turds along this side of the wall. While adventuring, I try to stay away from the turd stack part of any zone. There is a turd stack in every video game zone. If you haven't found it yet, you haven't been looking hard enough. But I promise you, you should stay away from the turd stacks. Yeah, I wonder what they eat. Hopefully not me. They definitely look a little radioactive, though. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in this zone. I wonder if that's like an exploded bomb, or like, how did we get the nuclear slimes? Like the slimes that are like decaying at a rapid rate and like tearing apart our... Looks like there used to be some kind of sewage system or, I don't know, some kind of transfer pipe system in here. Alright. Well, let's continue forward because I like new stuff and this is fascinating to me. I like this a lot. Oh no, I have no jetpack left. So I fell to my doom. Oh, it loops back around. Okay, so that ledge right there loops back around kind of Skyrim style so that you can escape from the dungeon by going all the way through it. I love that and that's like one of my favorite changes about modern RPGs is how nowadays they always make like the dungeons loop back on themselves or have like a mechanism that takes you back to the beginning. Such an understated thing. Oh my god, I spent such a ludicrous amount of time as a kid in old school RPGs backtracking through empty dungeons like finding your way back through the maze backwards essentially and it was only bad with like really really huge dungeon crawlers but for real I love the fact that looping dungeons now exist and dungeons that double back on themselves are considered like the standard for dungeon crawling games so nice it's just one of those things that there's no reason for it not to exist there's no reason to subject the player to running through the dungeon backwards with nothing to do which is essentially what old dungeons used to do in video games if there was no respawn you would just walk backwards through the damn thing and it would take forever and with some of the bigger dungeons like you would find in like Morrowind and Oblivion and stuff like that it would just take forever it's like ooh, that was actually one of the major factors that burned me out about Oblivion is they got to some of the bigger dungeons and once you would clear them you had to go all the way back through them afterwards it was just a bummer it was just something I did not feel like doing at all so with rad slimes let's find out what's going on with them the raddest of slimes let's see they like Oka Oka which I assume is kind of like I don't know that root that we saw in that other zone but they eat veggies so that's not too bad it's unknown if rad slime sometimes called raddies came to be from external radiation sources or something naturally occurring within the far far range regardless rad slimes emit such a potent aura of radiation they glow in the dark a rad slimes radioactive aura can induce rad poisoning in a rancher yes we figured that out they are basically mobile batteries so no surprise corporations want them for their incredible energy producing capabilities okay they drop plutonium. Did you see that? That's hella funny. Plutonium. Oh dear. Alright, so you guys are probably pretty happy over here would be my guess. I've got a couple of pink plorts that I can do away with right now. Market is still pretty haywire. Which has got me pretty worried. Let's go ahead and drop ourselves a new corral over here. And then we'll put in high walls too, just to make sure. And since the rad slimes don't require meat, I'm just gonna put them in here first. Can they get me through the walls though? Oh, it looks like they can. Okay, so 
We gotta be careful about those even when we're inside of. They want two roosteros and five stony hens. What do I get for it? 19 pogo fruits. Q berries and pink floor. It's a slime dressed up in a jacket. Okay. It's not a terrible exchange. It's not something that I'm intensely interested in right now. But it might be useful later on. Let's gather up these Q-berries for right now. And it does look like they fixed it. It used to be kind of weird back in the day where the harvests would... I don't know. The harvest would do weird things sometimes. And so it's nice to see that that's functioning a little bit better. Cool. I'll probably leave a lot of those plorts in there for now. We have 49 rock plorts? Holy shit, we have a lot of plorts. Okay. I've also got an overabundance of fruit at the moment, and I don't know what to do with it. I wonder how frequently that shifts. Apparently I got an achievement, so there you go. Try hard, kids, and someday a splash screen will let you know that you're doing the right thing and upping the ante with easily attainable goals. Hello, chickens. Chickens, hello. Chicken, hello, Bob. Chickens. Hoping at some point they make each of these like decoratable too. Like you'll be able to make like a jumbo size corral. And it'll be like a modern zoo where you can add things from like the biome that they like in order to keep them a little bit happier. Right now the feeding method is simple enough to where I think they need to start working on... Like right now I think they're going for content density, but it'd be cool if each little area was a little bit like a zoo tycoon type game where you've got to give them an environment that they like, otherwise they'll continue to get mad even though you're feeding them. God, that market is so brutally low. Like, so insanely, just nastily low. But, gotta make money somehow, so... Welcome to the way life works. I gotta get rid of these pogos. So you know what? I'm just gonna throw them on the floor over there, and they can do their thing. Meanwhile... Feed the remainder of those to the machine. It looks like we're actually going to need to expand pretty soon. we got room for one more pen, but that's it. We don't have much more room than that, so I'm going to step our game up a little bit, make things a little bit uh, more little bit more interesting for us. These have not grown yet, which has me concerned. I mean, I suppose I could poach off some of these in here. They've still got nine left. So if you're brave enough to stick your hand inside the cage, we might be able to feed some of these little guys, but even so, I don't think that I have enough heartbeats. So it looks like they drop radioactive plorts, or plortonium, or... a oh, rad plort. Okay. So what does that do when it reaches 100? Oh shit, that's no fun. Okay, so when you hit 100, you start getting hurt. We needed the cash. We need the cash very, very badly. So now we got a little bit more Skrillzas. Oh, look at that, we've got some more Q-berries. All right, Q-berries, come off the tree right now. Oh good, and we've got another harvest over there too. Fantastic exactly what I needed right now, but actually taking a look at the clock, I think we are out of time. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode. Slime Rancher. I will see you all in the future. Check out Monomi Park's website down below in the description if you enjoyed the game itself. I will see you all later. Bye, everybody.